Oh, dead arise, oh, friendless stand by seraphim adored. O solitude again command your hosts from heaven adored. Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. This is evening prayer for Wednesday, April the 10th. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 12 and 13, and John chapter 17, verse 20 to 26. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, help me, most high, for the godly no longer exist. Alleluia. Psalms 12 and 13. Help me, most high, for the godly no longer exist. The faithful disappear from among us. Everyone speaks vainly with their neighbor. They speak with flattering lips and a double heart. Oh, that you would cut off all flattering lips and the tongues that speak boastful things. Those who say, with our tongues we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor and for the sighing of the needy. Now I will rise, says the Most High, I will set them in safety from those that strike. The words of the Most High are pure, as silver is tried in the furnace, purified seven times in the fire. You shall keep them, O God, you shall preserve them from this generation. The wicked walk on every side, and the vilest are exalted by everyone. Will you forget me forever, O God? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear grief in my soul and sorrow in my heart? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O beloved God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the death. Lest my enemy say, I have prevailed against him. And those that trouble me rejoice when I fall. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to you because you have dealt generously with me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Help me, most high, for the godly no longer exist. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 17, beginning at verse 20. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one. As you, Father, are in me, and I am in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one. In them, I in them, and you in me, that they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them, even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where I am, to see my glory which you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and these know that you have sent me. I made your name known to them also, and I will make it known so that the love with which you have loved me may be in them and I in them. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. 
that we may be pardoned and forgiven our sins and offenses. That there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by the Holy Spirit, in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us, O God, in your ways, that we may become a godly people. And let us never forget the poor and the needy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.